Now let's look at question number six in this video. It's a very simple question based on your common sense and your knowledge of psychrometric processes. If you know about them, it will take only 30 seconds. Not even 30, less than that. Okay. Now the question says moist air at 35 degrees Celsius and 100% RH is entering a psychrometric device and leaving at 25 degrees Celsius and the same RH. Okay. Name the device, uh, what is the name of the device? There are four options, humidifier, dehumidifier, sensible heater and sensible cooler. What can it be? Let's draw a diagram to understand it for those who don't understand the psychrometric processes. Okay, now this is your RH curve. Okay, let us say this is RH curve, this is 500%. Okay, your dBT is decreasing. So, let us say at 100% you will have the first point over here. The first point over here so you will have this as 35 degree Celsius. Okay, then after this. It leaves at 25 degrees Celsius but at the same RH. Okay, so you have the same RH and your temperature has gone down. Okay, this means this is the process which is taking place. This is the process which is taking place. Now, what has happened? The RH is same on the same RH line, right? So if you look at this, this is the specific humidity at state 1 and this is the specific humidity at state 2. Now what has happened, the RH stays the same at both the points but the moisture content has gone down, okay? And also the dBT has decreased. This means we are dehumidifying the sample of moisture. So the psychrometric device which we are using here is dehumidifier. Dehumidifier. Okay. And more importantly this is dehumidification and cooling or cooling with dehumidification. So there is no option uh, which, is, which says that it is cooling with dehumidification. So we will just take dehumidifier as our correct option. Okay, so this is how easy it is. If you get confused, plot it and see what is happening and then try and match the correct answer. But if you are able to understand just by those two lines, then you are a champion. So I hope you understood this question. Now let's move on to question number 7 in the next video.